Hello, everyone. Uh, this isn't going to be like one of my regular videos because I really just wanted to get on here as soon as I could when the news broke. There is a vote today in Ottawa for Pharmacare for All, and I can't say I was surprised, but the Liberals voted no. Uh, they voted with the Conservatives to vote against universal pharmacare for everyone. This was a bill put forth by the NDP. Um, so that could be some of the reluctance as to why the Liberals didn't want to vote for it. A lot of you probably didn't know this was happening because the news, the mainstream media, wasn't covering it the way that they should be. Instead, they were covering frivolous things, car accidents, or even on Twitter, the liberal supporters were blowing up over a silly meme the NDP let out as opposed to actually talking about this Pharmacare for All bill. Canada is the only country to have universal health care that does not include Pharmacare. Our medications are not covered. Part of the reasoning the federal government will put forth is that jurisdiction thing. It's complicated in Canada, but healthcare is one of the areas where it's looked after both federally and provincially. So that's why the vaccine rollouts are different from province to province, even though the federal government is the one that bought all the vaccines and distributed them to the provinces. It's a shared responsibility. Only a lot of the times they like to push the responsibility onto one or the other so they don't have to take it themselves. So what this means is people will die. There are people who can't afford their medication, who are cutting pills in half, who are going bankrupt, who are having to make sacrifices in their life in order to afford the medication they need. And I just don't understand how so many people could vote against this. Let's not forget the Liberals did promise Pharmacare once upon a time. But like many of their promises, they broke it. When I was a child, I wanted to be a superhero. And to be honest, if I had the opportunity, I would still be a superhero now in my life. But I have no superpowers. You know, I have no ability to save people's lives. I'm on here and this is, this is what I've got. This is what I have to offer, is my voice. I can't tell you how much I wish I had the ability to magically snap my fingers and change the lives of so many people for the better, get them out of poverty, get the medication they need, get better health care. So when I see so many people vote against this thing that would save the lives of thousands each year, it makes me wonder what kind of sociopaths we have running the government. It costs them personally nothing. They lose nothing. They're not putting themselves in danger. There's, I guess, with the corporations, with the pharmaceutical companies, they have deals, they have arrangements. Canadians need to realize the Liberals and the Conservatives are the exact same party with different branding. And they don't care if you die. We need to vote them out if we want any real change in this country. We need to give the NDP a majority. Will they, will they be better? I don't know. 
but they won't be them. And everything the NDP has fought for, everything the NDP has tried to put through are things that would benefit Canadians. 90% of Canadians wanted Pharmacare and they voted against it. They are constantly putting the needs of the people behind the wants of the corporation and the wealthiest few, and we are suffering the consequences because of it. People, please realize we need to change this. We need to vote them out. Make it known you are not happy with this. Write your MP. Of course, never do anything violent, never do anything threatening. But we need to do something to make it clear that we're not going to stand for this. So I didn't have a script for this. I didn't have anything prepared. I just kind of wanted to give my honest thoughts. Sorry, this is why I shoot during the day because this lighting is, oh wow. It's um, really making me glow. Uh, not in a, uh, not in a warm sense. <laughs> Yeah, I am very pasty white. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is why I, I have a window that I shoot through during the day when the lighting is much better in here. Anyway, sorry about that. Just rambling on. Please, everyone, get informed, get involved. Pay attention to the policies at hand and then look who supports those policies. If we take party affiliations out of it, most people agree on the issues. And these are issues the NDP supports. I can't say I'm a hardcore, like I'm, I'm not just an NDP or I'm not just a, a mindless NDP supporter. I support them because they support me. And that's the way the government should be. So I'm keeping this video short, hopefully, and I hope this makes people think. I just, they had the chance to go through on one of their promises and people, people's lives would have been saved and they voted no. Just let that sink in. Uh, that's all for now. This isn't going to be a traditional video. No end tag, no nothing of that sort. Just this. I just wanted to get this out while it was still fresh in my head. I will probably make another video about this that's a little bit better lighting, better makeup. Well, makeup. And scripted with my thoughts more coherent but I just wanted to let you know we can't keep on supporting parties that don't care if we live thank you everyone for the support you've been giving my channel please help continue to give me that support so that I can continue getting my voice out there thank you and uh, have a good night <laughs>